In this video, I'm going to show you on how to use scientific calculator KCU FX570EX to find the value of mean for group data. Consider this example. Uh, this, has a, this data is, uh, is about the length of life of 50 mosquitoes. All right. So now I have uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, about six classes. Okay, and then this is the corresponding frequency value, the number of mosquitoes. All right. So now I need to calculate the value of mean. Okay. Um, before we discuss further on how to use the scientific calculator to find this uh, mean value, okay, I will show you the manual calculation uh, to find the mean value. All right. So uh, for manual calculation, the very first step is you must find the corresponding x value for each class okay our x is the midpoint right so these are the midpoint values okay and then the next step you need to find the value of uh, frequency multiplied with uh, the x value right okay and then find the total of uh, x times f right the next step substitute uh, these two summation values uh, into the formula of mean okay and then you will obtain this uh, mean value okay so this is by using manual calculation okay so now how to use um, scientific calculator to find mean value so to use scientific calculator the very first step is also to find the midpoint value the x value okay so you must have x in your in your table right okay the next step now in this calculator you need to reset the setting and memory okay so to do that you need to press shift button okay followed by number nine button nine okay and then button three to initialize all initialize all here means we want to uh, reset the previous setting and we want to reset the previous data in this calculator so press button three and then press equal for yes to initialize all and then you can press the AC button to clear the screen of the calculator. Alright, the next step, we want to change the setting of this calculator. So press uh, shift button, okay, followed by this setup button. Okay, and then you need to press arrow to uh, arrow down button here one time. Okay, and then uh, we need to press button 3 for statistical mode. So press button 3. Okay. So for this case, we need to turn on the frequency because uh, for this group data, we have frequency value. Okay. We have frequency value. Right. So press button 1 to turn on the frequency. Okay. Next step. Okay. Press menu button. Okay. Now I have uh, eight options here. So for this case, we need to choose the six function. Okay, this one, number six for statistics. So we need to press button six, right? And then followed by number one for variable. Okay, so you need to press a button one. All right, now um, you have these two column in this calculator right now the first column is for x the second column is for frequency value so the next step is you need to key in your data values into the calculator so right now my first data value is 7.5 and the frequency is 19 okay so what i'm going to do right now is i want to um, key in my x value first Alright, so the first x value is 7.5. Okay, to save this, uh, you need to press equal. Okay, the next x value is 12.5 equal. And then I have 17.5 equal, 22.5 equal, uh, 27.5 equal. And the last one is 32.5 equal. Alright, okay, the next step, I want to key in the frequency values all right so okay you need to just uh, play around with this um, button right here okay press arrow to the right button to move to this column okay now for frequency the first frequency value is this 19 
So 90. Okay, now to save this value, press equal. Okay, and then we have 16 equal. Okay, and then 10 equal 3. And then 1. And the last one is also 1. All right. Okay. So right now, um, you can clear your screen. Okay, press AC button to clear the screen of the calculator. Okay, the next step is we need to obtain the summation values. Okay, because we want that summation values uh, to calculate the value of mean. Okay, alright. So now, press option button, OPTN here for option. Right, and then press button 2 for variable calculator. Press button 2. Okay, so now in this calculator screen, uh, we have few summation values. So what we need to focus is uh, the summation of x value. Okay, summation of x here represents the summation of fx. As you can see here in this calculator, summation of x is equal to 645. Right, okay, next value is... We want the value of summation of x. Sorry, summation of f. Because mean formula is equal to summation of fx divided by summation of f. So, for summation of f value, it is actually equivalent to n, the number of observation. So, if you press this arrow down button, okay, the next page, you will see the n value. So, now, n value is equal to 50. All right. Okay, this is the n value 50. Okay, and you can plug in these two values 645 and 50 into um, the formula of mean. Okay, and then you can uh, calculate the value, the final value for mean, it is equal to 12.9. Okay, and actually, you can also retrieve, you can also get the mean value from this calculator. Okay, as you can see from the first page, okay, now I, I need to press arrow up button. Okay, in this screen, you can see we have the value of x bar. This x bar represents the final value of mean. Okay, so now the final value of mean is 12.9. Okay, so in this calculator, other than we can uh, obtain the value of summation, we can also obtain the final value of our mean. Okay, so our mean value for this example is 12.9.